We begin with the latest efforts to stop the spread of COVID-19 on college campuses. The University of Rhode Island has ordered a Greek life house to quarantine after a number of students tested positive this week. Good evening, I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kalunian, new at five. We've learned the school has sent out new guidance for students traveling over this holiday weekend. Let's get right out to 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt. He's live on campus with the latest. Brandon. Well, Kim, that memo sent out in just the past hour. It warned students if they go home for the long weekend to a hot spot state, they're going to have to quarantine for two weeks when they get back. All of this as the school works to test the entire student body. I think there's some confidence that we can do it, but we need everybody's cooperation. University of Rhode Island spokesman Dave Lavalli on the work it will take to keep in person learning going. The school says that's the goal as they test all 16,000 students over the next week. I feel like testing all the students will be a great thing. URI tells me they've tested 5,000 students so far. The university is saying they won't make any sweeping changes until all the results are in. We want our students, faculty and staff to stay healthy. Lavalli says most of the spread is coming from students jumping from small group to group, adding it's not from large parties. You have four or five students in a house, one or two of them, or maybe the whole group goes to another house. Um, so now you've got 10, maybe a few of those go to a, another house, or maybe they come to see some people on campus. There have been rumors swirling of a curfew. Right now the school says there are no plans for it, but it is being discussed. It's a cool idea, but it's like, how are they really going to enforce that? With schools like Providence College and Johnson and Wales going remote for a time, students like Jacob Gortoy say they want to avoid those potential consequences. Last semester when we had to go online, my all my motivation for wanting to do as best as I possibly could um, for my grades just was killed immediately. And Jacob is not the only one who feels that way. We heard that from countless students today. All of this coming as the university says there are consequences for students who aren't following their guidelines, citing suspensions that were handed out earlier this year. Live in Kingston, Brandon Truett, 12 News. A curfew under consideration at URI. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kaluni. And university officials tell us they are mulling restrictions following an increase in COVID-19 cases. 12 News reporter Brandon Truett joins us live from South Kingstown with an update. Brandon. Well, guys, masks are required for anyone who steps on campus, even when you're outside. But this all comes as the university's last update on cases came on Wednesday. That's when they had the single highest one day total of positive cases. Of course, the school trying to test the entire student body covering 5000 students so far. We have seen the rumors and in fact, we've been discussing it. University of Rhode Island spokesman Dave Lavalli on the potential for a curfew on campus. There have been no decisions made yet. The talks come as the university undertakes a massive testing operation. 16,000 students within 10 days, results coming within 48 hours of each test. I feel like that should have been implemented in the beginning. The university says they want to see the big picture before introducing any sweeping changes. The school is reporting 85 cases in the last Last week, URI says most of them are coming from small gatherings, not large parties, with students jumping from one group to another. When you do these kind of movements from one house to another or one uh, location to another, that's when virus can spread. It's something RA Stedman Gemfidakwa says he's seen from his freshman living on his hall. I mean, as an RA, I definitely see a lot of late night behavior, um, definitely during the weekends and all that. Lavalli says most of their students and staff are following the rules. It's what's allowed for in-person learning to last. And that's something students like Jacob Gortoy say they don't want to lose. I really do value actually going to school because that's how I get to communicate with other people and meet friends. And late this afternoon, the university sent out a memo to students warning them if they travel for this holiday weekend to a hotspot state, they'll have to quarantine for 14 days when they get back. Of course, the school is trying to keep in person learning going through Thanksgiving. At that point, they're scheduled to transition to remote learning. Live in Kingston, Brandon Truett, 12 News.